The Kano State Governor Abakabir has committed to empowering 152 repentant thugs in the skill acquisition and various trade out of the 222 who were presented to him by the Kano Commissioner of Police, CP Mohammed Gumel. The CP presented the repentant thugs to Governor Kabir at the Sania Bacha Indoor Stadium, Kofar Mata, Kano. Among the repentant thugs and out of those that were trained are 50 constabulary volunteers who were selected from crime-prone local government areas of Kano, while 152 opted for skills acquisition in various trades to which the Kano state government committed to support them financially. Others opted to go back to school to continue with their studies. We are now 50 constabulary volunteers who were selected from the crime prone local government areas of Pedi, Mali, Dala, Nasarawa, Ubuhu, and Kano as well. We are there facing this opportunity to call on this repentant folks. I don't want to be here with folks, this repentant brothers of ours to be honest to themselves and to be honest to the society, to keep the promises they made on defending the people, also the allegiance they made to the people, government, security, and the end of their friends and even members of their family. Let me say that, in the event that anyone fails to honor the allegiance and continue with his bad habit, the government and the security agency will not hesitate to furnish and take action according to the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. On his part, the Kano State Police CP Gomel Mohammed deployment of his approach to the state is in line with the vision of the Inspector General of IG, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Adeolu Ogbetokum, to command to embark on community-based policing. He said the repentant thugs have adequately been trained, kitted, and will commence work in their respective government of origin under strict supervision for the promotion of peace, economic growth, and the state. In my part, I urge this information used to remain steadfast in their commitment to their positive change. No impunity that cannot take government, community stakeholders, and the police will ever stand behind them in this journey of healing and transformation, including peacefulness. There is greater hope for peaceful Kano state. Therefore, all the DPOs and the 44 local government council are also encouraged to cascade this initiative in their own ways. Let us embrace this brethren now and be addressing them with good name as Kano Cell, Gold and Silver Youth. <laughs> Keep showing them some love by opening up our arms and never to see them as outcasts. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.